Hey everyone, welcome to Robust QA. My name is Abhishek Patel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the fixtures in Playwright. So this is the practical example of a fixture. Page is a fixture. And with the help of the fixture, we don't have to instantiate the page object for each and every test. Instead, we can just call the fixture and then use all the methods of the page object. So like page dot go to do this, page dot wait for, and we can do the same for all of your tests in your test suite. Now we want to do the same for our custom objects like page objects. And you would ask uh, that why would we need this in the first place? And the reason is in the actual framework, you might end up creating a lot of page objects, which can make your test bulky. Let's say, for example, for a particular test, you have to navigate to the five different screen and you have to instantiate five objects and then you can start writing your test and the same for the other test and same for the other test. So the disadvantage is repetition of code. So in order to avoid that, we can use the fixture in the playwright. So I have created this module called page object manager and we are going to call all the fixtures or page fixture from this module. So let me first start by importing test. I'm going to give a, a alias as base from playwright test. And now I'm going to import all the pages or modules here. Import m burger within the braces hamburger menu from hamburger page same i'm going to import home page from home page and i'm going to import login page login page from login page cool and now I am going to need to export test. This is the name. This is the name of the variable. So I'm simply going to extend the existing test. And then it will take the generics. So what I'm simply doing is I'm extending the existing test module with the custom objects or the custom page objects. So I want to pass all the page objects. So I can use the all the methods of test object as well as our custom uh, method or page objects. So in order to pass the generic here, we have to first declare or define the generic. So type um, maybe page objects is equal to curly braces and M burger hamburger menu and the type is this is the type of the class and then second is home page so home page of type home page and then the last login page so login page is of type login page Cool. So now we have type ready and page objects I'm going to pass here and within the brackets I can start instantiating these page objects. So hamburger menu is sync and within that I'm going to use the page fixture. That's what I'm going to need and use method. And we have a callback functions and then const hamburger is equal to new hamburger. Okay. And within that, we'll need to pass the page fixture. And then I'm going to use the use method and pass the hamburger menu. <coughs> Okay, export, export const test. Okay, so now hamburger menu is instantiated. 
and this is how the fixture is defined. So now I can use the hamburger fixture and under the hood it's going to create the object of the hamburger page and we can use all the method associated with the hamburger page and that is all this method. So currently we just have one method but we can use it. Okay. Now let's do the same for the home page. Okay. So home page, let's start instantiating the home page. You sync and within that uh, we are going to pass page fixture and then use method and then callback function. Within that we will have a const home page. This is the variable we'll use as a fixture new home page and then pass the existing page fixture and then use method to use the variable or the fixture that we have just created and cool now we have a home page fixture as well okay let's uh, end this we have to pass comma and the last one is the login page so login page async and simply have a page fixture and then use method and callback function and const login page is equal to new login page and page is the existing fixture use method and pass login page and that's that's all okay so we have defined all the fixture we have also exported the test okay so now the new test will have all the existing test method as well as it will also have this fixture so fixture are nothing but the instantiated page objects okay so you can instantiate as many page as you want you can also instantiate many things here okay you can use it as a part of your fixture and finally I'm going to export expect is equal to test dot expect. So the new expect is nothing but the existing test dot expect. Okay, so it's just overriding the existing expect with the new expect. I'm going to pass the const because it is constant. Okay, so this is how you define the fixture or this is how you create the page object manager. Now let's go to our test and now I can get rid of this. We don't need it. And instead of calling test and expect from playwright, we are going to call it from here because this is the new one. Okay, because we are we have overridden our existing test and expect with our uh, custom objects. So I'm going to call it from page objects and page object manager. Okay. And we don't need this. And that's all. And here, so this is the login page. So since this is, we are going to call this from fixture, let's get rid of this. And we can simply call it from here. And that's all. You don't need to define. Same. Let's let's get rid of home page. And here, I'm going to type home page. And that's all. Same with here. I'm going to get rid of home page. And uh, going to define home page here. As you can see, how neat and clean it looks. Just imagine if you had like 15 tests and 15 different instantiation in each test. Just imagine how awesome it is to get rid of it and just simply pass it as a fixture. Now let's get rid of this page because we don't need it here. Same here, we don't need it because home page is using the page under the hood. And this page, okay, we are going to need this page. Okay, so all set, let's run the test and let's see if it works. Okay, both the test passed, uh, and you can see here, both the test passed, I can run it again. And you see, both the test will run, and it passed. 
Okay, so that's the concept of page object manager in Playwright. Use the fixture and get rid of duplicate object instantiation code in your test. Thank you very much. See you next time.